Hey guys, welcome back to Collab News. We're exploring the world of mobile game collabs. Today we're going to go in depth into a couple of games. One is going to be Date Alive. They're having a Is It Wrong to Pick Up a Girl in a Dungeon collab. I'm going to show you that in depth as much as I can. I played through that so I could get some footage for you guys. And I'm going to be trying to do some summons in Puzzle and Dragon because they have a Demon Slayer collab going on. But first I want to talk about a couple games that are on their way out as far as collabs are concerned. This is the North Star Legends Revive is having a Street Fighter collab. Now all the banners are over with. Uh, they had Chun-Li, Ryu, and Bison. Um, but you can still log on and get a free Sakura if you want. She's still really good. Um, you have to log on like right now. I think it's going to end in like... 15 hours at the time I'm recording this so it'd probably take me a little while to record it put it up so it may even be done by the time you're seeing this hopefully not uh, but let's uh, see if you can log on right now and get it if you're wanting to it I think it's over by the 20th like midday so there's that uh, also the seven deadly sids grand cross re zero collab is out I think that ends on the 25th you can get a free character ram, you can get free costumes. Um, I did some summons on that, and that was a blast. I actually did pretty well, I got pretty lucky on that. And the event is really cool. It has kind of a uh, choose your own adventure uh, feel to the story mode of that. So I thought that was kind of neat. A couple other things I'm gonna mention real quick. Uh, Kill a Kill is having another collab in Grand Summoners. Uh, I didn't get a chance to play this, but I believe it's still going on right now, so you can check that out. I mentioned that in the last video as well. Here's some other collabs that are going on. Um, hopefully that's some, uh, some help to you, and I'll throw in a couple of, uh, you know, Japanese or, you know, non-global ones up there that I'm not going to be covering, but it's just nice to know if you just, like, love those IPs. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the Is It Wrong to Pick Up a Girl in a Dungeon collab that's going on in Date Alive Spirit Pledge. Uh, now, this game is kind of a, I wouldn't want to call it a dating sim, but there are like dating sim aspects to it. Uh, this is the combat I'm going to try to show you a little bit here. It can vary a bit, um, but the game is very narrative and story driven. Um, so there is a special story stage just for the collab. I was only able to get so far because I'm brand new to the game. Um, but, uh, I think they did a pretty good job. There's characters that you can get with this eyes or I forget A's. I, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but the blonde one and Hestia. So Hestia is going to be more like the kind of like an equipped card, I guess you could call it, or like an equipped equipment for the character. Uh, it's not somebody you actually fight with, but if you watch the anime, she's not so much of a fighter anyways. Um, but they, you can get different like swimsuit costumes for them. Uh, as you can see here, the animations are actually pretty elaborate for them. You can use them as your like main screen kind of character there. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job on the animations. Uh, but if you're a big fan of the IP, I think it might be worth checking out. From what I've noticed, I think it might be kind of difficult for new players to get through all of it. Now. I, I gave it my best shot to really get into the game, but it's just not for me. By no means am I saying the game is bad, but <laughs> it's just the dating aspect is just not really what I'm looking for <laughs> right now. More of just like uh, the gotcha. But from what I've from what I've watched and what I've read of the like story mode as I played through it. It was actually fine. Um, it was definitely, you know, there wasn't like broken English or anything. It was well translated. It was, you know, fairly interesting. I just ain't trying to, I ain't just, I'm not trying to date magical, you know, sword wielding high school girls right now in my life. I'm just, I'm just not. <laughs> okay, so I thought it'd be cool to do a little summon here for the Demon Slayer collab that's going on in uh puzzle and dragon <laughs> like what am i playing right now puzzle and dragon i played this a long time ago back in like college when it first came out and i took a long break from it because i lost my account and i'm an idiot and i didn't bind it um uh, <laughs> that was a lot you know i was like just getting in the mobile game so i didn't even think of doing that but i think i have like a free rare summon here uh yeah let's do that so you can see he's all <laughs> he's all decked out uh i would say that Pulse on Dragon is like the king 
of collabs. They've had so many collabs. You know, but it's easy for them. They don't have to... They don't have to do all the animation and stuff. Hey, there you go. Oh, man, he looks cool. I've only seen a little bit of the show, like the first chunk of episodes. So I'm not actually familiar with this character. But he looks cool. I have to watch it. My wife likes the show. Uh, the bit that she's watched. But uh, I have not. But I think there's more. Alright, so here's more. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, nice. Dang, he looks awesome. Let's see. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, you get the, If you guys are, you know, veterans, you have to let me know if that's any good. But there's like 16 characters, I think, in there from that show. They have like their dungeons, of course. It's a lot of the same as far as Puzzle and Dragon's concerned. But uh, if you're a big fan of the IP, there's not too many uh, Demon Slayer collabs yet. I think there will be because it's pretty big. Um, but I think this is one of the first. Let me know if I'm wrong on that one. But, you know, Puzzle and Dragon, at it again. <laughs> they've done so many collabs. They've done, like, Batman, even. Freaking, I, I think they even did, like, the Android icon, right? I th did they do Space Invaders? They did Yu-Gi-Oh! They've done all kinds of stuff. Uh, I covered it recently when they did Street Fighter and they did King of Fighters. Uh, I started the game back up so I could get those characters. I can do do more. I recognize him! Somebody I know! <laughs> or somebody I remember. Man, that one part where you like woke up. Ooh, that was crazy. We'll do more. We'll do one more. I just want to get more people that I know. Because <laughs> I'm stubborn like that. Hey! I've seen. I've seen. I know. I know things. <laughs> I need to watch the show, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna watch the show. Hey guys, I want to thank you so much for sticking it through to the end. If you enjoyed the video, it would mean a lot to me if you would consider subscribing. I do a lot of collab videos on my channel, so uh, if that's something you, you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Put a like on the video and let me know if there's any collabs that I've missed or are going on that helps me and that helps everybody who is uh, in the comments section. I, and I really do appreciate it. And I try to read and comment and reply to everybody. I do a lot of fighting game stuff. I do cover King of Fighters All-Stars. And I even do VR content. So if any of that's of interest to you as well, check that out. Thank you guys. I wish you luck in any summons that you're doing. God bless you and you have a blessed day, y'all.